All right, so this is the lecture for section 7.2, uh, this is MIC 2233, and this is going to be substitution. So if you get an integral in the form of uh, f of x raised to the n power times f prime of x dx, then we can go ahead and substitute that into uh, the integral of u raised to the n power du, which ends up being u uh, raised to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 times c, which then the end result would be f of x raised to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c, because what we do is we substitute u with f of x, right? If we have um, another integral f prime of x over f of x dx, we can rewrite that one or substitute that one into the integral of 1 over u du, which ends up being the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. So then the answer to something that looks like this right here in this form just ends up being the natural log of f of x, the absolute value of f of x plus c. And then the last one is the integral of e raised to the f of x dx. And that simply becomes uh, the integral of e to the u du, which is just e to the u uh, power plus c. So for number four, what we're going to do is we're going to substitute u with negative 4t plus 1. And so du just becomes negative 4, right? Negative 4 dt, sorry. And so what's going to happen then is we're going to substitute this into the integral of u to the third power, right? And then uh, du is going to be negative 4, so we're going to put the negative 4 and then dt. So I'm going to rewrite this as the integral of negative 4 u to the third dt. Oh, actually, before I do that, let's see something here. So I don't have a negative 4 dt, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to uh, basically uh, change this into negative 1 fourth du is equal to dt, because I only have a dt, so I have to do that first. And so um, I can get rid of the negative 4 dt, so then the substitution actually then becomes the following. I get negative 1 over 4, integral of u to the third du, which is going to be 1 to the fourth, right? And then here is going to be u to the 4 over 4 plus c. And so when I clean this up a little bit, it's going to be negative u to the 4 over 16 plus c. So then we're going to go back and see that we substituted u uh, with, we substituted negative 4t plus 1 with u. And so then this one is going to be equal negative, negative 4t plus 1 to the 4th power over 16 plus c. And so that's how you do number, number 4 here. Let me get get my screen moving here real quick there you go so number eight um what we're going to do here is we have several things right we're going to rewrite this one as the integral of 6x squared uh, times 2x to the third plus 7 raised to the negative 3 over 2 dx just rewrite that there so we don't have a fraction. And then, so we're going to go ahead and substitute u with 2x to the third plus 7, which means that du is 6x squared, right? dx, which is exactly what I needed, right? I needed a 6x squared dx. So then I'm going to rewrite this as the integral of u, right, raised to the negative 3 over 2 du. And so then that's going to become, right, u raised to the negative one-half over negative one-half plus c, which becomes negative two, u to the negative one-half plus c. Then I, if I want to have uh, a positive exponent, so then this becomes u to the one-half plus c. So then going back, since I substituted u with, uh, I mean, 2x to the third uh, plus 7 with u, then my final answer here becomes negative 2, 2x to the third plus 7 raised to the 1 half plus c. And that's the answer to numbers 8. Okay? Number 18, we'll go ahead and uh, basically do substitution again. 
So here we're going to let u equal x squared plus 3. We're going to let du equal 2x dx, right? Now, the only thing here is that I need a negative 4x. So if I multiply, um, I need a negative 4 x dx, right? That's what I need. But I only have a 2x dx. So I'm going to multiply this by negative 2. So it becomes negative 2 du is equal to negative 4x dx. And so now I can rewrite this as negative 2. Take the constant outside, right? du over u. Which we know it's going to be the same as negative 2, 1 over u du which we said in the previous uh, thing, that's going to be uh, the natural log of u, absolute value of u plus c. And then going back to the original here, then our answer becomes negative 2, natural log of x squared plus 3 plus c. And that's our final answer for number 18. All right, number 26. Here again, what, what, what we're going to do here is we're going to let u equal x plus 5. And du is just going to be equal to dx, right? Because it's just going to be 1. Now, we also know that um, x is equal to u minus 5, right? Using uh, the fact that we have that up there. And so what's going to happen here is that I, I have a 2x, but, um, so which means that I'm going to have to multiply this uh, by 2. So I'm going to end up with the following, right? So if x is equal to u minus 2, then 2u, or, sorry, 2 times u minus 5 is going to be equal to 2x, right? Based on this information here. And so um, at that point in time, now I can go ahead and rewrite it. So it's going to be the integral, right, of 2. That's my 2 here that I, that I put up there. u minus 5 to the negative 6 power. Oh, sorry, let me do this again. u to the negative 6 power, and then u minus 5 du, right? So let me backtrack again. So u is going to be x plus 5, which means du is equal to dx. Now, since I have a 2x dx, I have to end up with that. So then i got to say, okay, so what is x equal to? x is equal to u minus 5. But I need a 2x, so then it's going to be 2 times u minus 5, which is the same thing as 2x. And so this is where this 2 comes from, and then this is where the uh, u minus 5 comes from. And so what I can do here is I can actually distribute this. So it's going to be the integral of 2 times the integral of u, right, to the negative fifth minus 5u to the negative 6 du. So now we know that this is going to be, if I, if I were to rewrite this, it's going to be 1 over u to the fifth minus 5u to the 6 du. Same thing, right? But here now, I'm going to go ahead and use the first one. So it's going to be 2 times u to the negative 4 over negative 4 minus 10, because I have the 2, right, that I have to distribute there. u to the negative 5th over negative 5 plus c. Um, so I can kind of clean this one a little bit more. So then this is going to be negative u to the negative fourth over two, right? And then here I'm going to have a five, so it's going to be two uh, u to the negative uh, fifth power plus c. I'm just kind of cleaning these up a little bit here. And then I can just go back and, and substitute, right? And so my answer here is going to be negative x plus five to the negative four over two plus 2 times x plus 5 to the negative fifth power plus c. 
And so um, I'm going to rewrite this a little, a little better. So it's going to be negative 1, 2x plus 5 to the 4th, plus 2x plus 5 to the 5th, plus c. And that's the answer to number, 20, number 26. So number 39 is a uh, word problem. So let's go ahead and look at this real quick. Let me get my book. So 7.2. Number uh, 39. So number 39 says the, re the marginal revenue in thousands of dollars from the sale of X MP3 players is given by R prime of X is equal to 4X X squared plus 27,000 raised to the negative two-third. Two-thirds, right? So it says find a total revenue function if the revenue from 125 players so 125 players um, is 29,591. So since it says that it's in thousands of dollars, um, we have to be careful with the units here. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and find the revenue function. So R of X is equal to the integral of R prime of X DX, right? And so this is going to be the integral of 4x, x squared plus 27,000 raised to the 2 thirds dx. And so I'm going to let u equal x squared plus 27,000, which means that du is equal to 2x dx, right? Now, since I need a 4x, I'm going to do 2 du is equal to 4x dx, because that's what I need. And so when I rewrite it, it is going to be the following. It's going to be 2 times u raised to negative 2 thirds du, right? Which is going to end up being 2. Um, actually, I can, let me leave it this way. So then when I calculate that completely, it's going to be 2 times uh, 3u raised to the 1 third plus c, which is going to end up being, in this case, it's going to be, and I'm going to go back and substitute this again. So it's going to be 2 times 3 x squared plus 27,000 raised to the 1 third plus c. And so I can clean this up a little bit, which is going to be 6 times x squared plus 27,000 raised to the 1 third plus c. And so what's going to happen is that they tell us that 125 players is $29,591. Now, we, since it's in thousands of dollars, we're going to write the 29,591 as 29.591. So that's important, otherwise we'll get it wrong. And so R of 125 is equal to six times 125 squared plus 27,000 raised to the one third plus C which in this case is going to equal to 29.591. And so here, we're going to end up with, um, once we solve this and everything, we end up with C is equal to negative 180. Right? When you solve here for, um, for C, basically. And so then, um, the revenue function then actually becomes... 6 times x squared plus 27,000 raised to the one-third minus 180. And then the next thing, the next part of it, it says how many players must be sold for a revenue of at least 40,000? And then, of course, the 40,000, we're going to write as 40, right? And so it's going to be 6 x squared plus 27,000 raised to the one-third minus 180 is equal to 40. I mean, sorry, greater than or equal to 40. 
And so when we solve this, we're going to end up with 6x squared plus 27,000 raised to the one-third greater than or equal to 220. Divide both sides, so we're going to get x squared plus 27,000 raised to the one-third is greater than or equal to 36.6667. And then we're going to take the Q root, right? So it's going to be x squared plus 27,000 is greater than or equal to the Q root. Um, oh, not the Q root, sorry. We're going to cube everything. So it's going to be x squared plus 27,000 is greater than or equal to, in this case, we're going to end up with 49,296.43. And then x squared is greater than or equal to 22,296.43, which leaves us that x is equal to 149.4. So that means that at least 150 players must be sold in order to get a profit of at least $40,000. So the next one, or the last one that we have, is number 41. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave 41 for you guys to try to knock it out. And that's the end of 7.2. Thank you.